Hello beautiful friends, Clara here. And today we're gonna break down Dragonfly as a peak pose. And I'm essentially gonna go into how I create the sequence that warms up to the peak pose and then how I cool it down. So the first thing I do before I even create a sequence is I like to look at the peak pose to get a sense of what it is that I'm working towards and what family of poses it lives in. So family of poses, the examples of those would be arm balances, inversions, hip openers, standing leg balances, and twists. And based on what family of poses um, my peak pose lives in gives me a sense of what parts of my body I need to warm up. Yeah. So if you go ahead and look down at the, uh, at the peak pose, here I am in Dragonfly. You can tell that I'm standing on my hands, so it's an arm balance. I'm twisted over to one side, meaning my arms are on one side of uh, my outer left leg, specifically in this one, or my outer right leg, I should say. And uh, so that's a twist, and then my left foot is on top of my left upper arm, which is telling you it's a very deep hip opener. I'm in deep hip flexion on the left side. And so this is an arm balance, it's a, um, a twist and a um, hip opener. This is actually one of my favorite peak poses to teach, not necessarily because most people can do it because most people can't, but all the prep work that goes towards this peak pose is amazing for all bodies. So regardless of whether or not your students or yourself get into the peak pose, I always say the peak's the cherry on top, all the stuff uh, underneath or before it is the Sunday, the good stuff. Yeah. So first thing I like to do is I look at the peak pose and I try to see pretty much every single pose in yoga, there's really only 15 poses in yoga, is very similar to other poses in different planes. So I also, not only do I like to look at what family of poses the peak pose is in, but I also like to look at it to get a sense, does it look like any other pose um, in, the, in the yoga family? So I'm going to go back in. As I'm twisted over to one side and I'm standing on my hands, this looks like a side crow. The other pose that it looks like an obvious one would be another arm balance known as Eka Pada Kuniyasana A, one-legged sage pose A variation, which is where um, the part of my body that looks like sage pose is my right leg on my left upper arm and I'm twisted over to one side. The last pose that this looks like is revolved half Hanuman pose and half Hanuman pose is splits, right? It's half split. So your back knee is bent, your front leg is straight and your hands are twisted over to one side. So that's just giving me a sense of poses that I may want to integrate into my flow beforehand to kind of introduce um, our bodies to the pose. The